Hello and welcome to This Old Geek. I'm Mike Esker. Now, as I promised, uh, this is a video for repairing my Jerry Mahoney ventriloquist owl that I bought off of eBay. I am going to repair his mouth. And there he is. He's in pretty good shape, other than his mouth doesn't work, and there are a few tears in his clothes. So, I am going to get to work on repairing these things. So there's how his mouth does not want to close. And there's the tear that I'm going to sew up. I don't have a sewing machine, but I do know how to sew. So. And there's also, you can see a tear in his pants. I'm going to sew that up as well. Now his head is secured to the body with a wire it goes around his neck and right there it is twisted together and I'm going to pull that out it's kind of tucked in his body a little bit pulling it out and I untwist it and I keep twisting untwisting I should say until it's loose enough that I can just pull his head off and there we go his head comes right off and that's what it looks like inside. Now the pull string, you pull the string and it opens the mouth and then a rubber band is inside there, supposed to be inside there, that keeps the mouth shut after you pull the uh, string. Uh, but what's typical in these is that the uh, over time the rubber band just deteriorates and comes apart. I didn't find any pieces in there because somebody must have pulled it out through the mouth. Now here I just snip the uh, rest of the wire to separate it, and I'm pulling it out. And there's a piece of cardboard there. So the pull strings turn yellow with age, and I like to take them out and bleach them, make them a little whiter, clean them up a little bit. So I just undid the knot and pulled it out of the head. And I'm just going to soak it in a solution of just water and some OxyClean. Or you could use water and bleach. But then I'm just going to put it in there and let it uh, soak at least overnight, maybe a little longer. So I don't have a rubber band, so I just use an elastic cord. And I just picked that up real cheap at like Walmart. It was like under two bucks. And I just thread that through the top of the bottom jaw there and and then uh, spread it through the hook that's on the neck. Quite often the uh, uh, that hook that's on the back of the neck will be missing. That's what happened with my Daniel Day. So I'm just pulling as tight as I can because I want that uh, mouth to be able to snap shut after I pull the string, the pull string. So I'm tightening it as tight as I can get it. And there we go. And the mouth closes perfectly, just the way I want it. So I'll just snip out the excess. And there you go. Now I'm going to put in the uh, pull string, thread it through the back. And it's going to the bottom of the jaw. I'm going to thread it through there. And then back through the hole in the back of the neck. And there you go. And then you just tie it off with a knot. And you're all set. Now comes the task of replacing the head onto the body. So this wire, it's, this is stainless steel wire that I bought from Lowe's, I believe. And it's a little bit thicker than what was in there, but it's okay. So I'm just uh, pushing that all the way around, kind of helping it feed through. 
make sure that I have enough sticking out. So then the wire is going to go fit around that, that groove in his neck there that you saw. So there we go. After I got it all tightened and twisted around as best I could, twist it a little bit more. I left it a little loose so his head turns. And I clipped off the excess. Now I'm taking it and twisting it back into the body just like it was done before when I took the head off. And there you go. Now let's just put the pants back on after I sewed them up. And the jacket. Get them all dressed. Nice snug fit. Put his, I think that's called a dicky. I'm not really sure. I'm putting that on. And just taking the safety pin and pinning that on there. Just the safety pins that were already pinned into it. Tucking that into his pants a little bit. And then comes the jacket. All nice and sewn up. Just like new. His clothes were a bit faded, but that's okay. I mean, the guy is, was probably made back in the 60s, I think. So, there we go. All looking dapper. And there he is. Looking real nice. I can never figure out why his eyes are just off to one side. Kind of makes it look a little creepier than usual. But anyway, there you go. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, help support the channel by subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Ah!